There we go. Ah, ah, ah. Why's the audio doing that? Is there something bubbling? Okay, so it was something about that one scene. That was weird. Weird start. Oh no, it's back! Why? Why are such sounds happening? Why? Okay, it stops whenever I pause, so whatever that fucking... <laughs> I apologize if no one else can hear that sound but me, but for me, there's like this fucking... <laughs> there's this fucking... Like... And I think it might be the wings of the fairies, maybe? But, like, it's a weird fucking sound, and I just instantly heard it, and I was like, Wow, wow, what's going on? What is that? Why is that? <laughs> oh, fuck, I have to do an intro. Everything's wonky now! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the book of the... The... What? What's the title of this game again? It's the book of unwritten... Di welcome to the tale of book in the last episode. We as Ivo spent a lot of time in a fucking garden. But now that we are aware that Ivo is pregnant and she is on her way to uh, this place, <laughs> I think it's Seabrook. I think that's the name of the location we're currently in. I don't know things. Y you shouldn't expect me to know things. I'm, I'm very bad at brain. I am rather b bad at brain, TBH. But well, let's get into it. Yeah, I still hear that sound. I guess it's probably the wings of the fairies? I don't know. I don't actually know where to go. In the last episode, we established we needed to talk to my new boss, right? So where's my boss? Is he up the stairs? Oh, God! <laughs> we carried loads of rubbish out of the school. I guess we must have overseen those. I walked right through the stairs. You. Oh, hey, I got boards now. Nice. Okay, I can't walk through the stairs again. I guess that's a one-time event. Nah, the school's not in the best condition, but at least there's a public maid school in Seastone again. And now we will gradually reclaim the building, and I will help train a new generation of mages. We will tidy Reclaim the, the building? We will tidy the hall. We will tidy the stairwells. We will never surrender. Yes, Wilbur. Clean! Clean until magic is back in the world! Oh, a kobold. Creatures, I've read that you don't really create them. You just call them from somewhere else. I don't know where the kobolds came from, but they don't give you the impression they want to go back there soon. Are these kobolds? I thought kobolds were tiny little lizard men. Like, like tiny dragon babies. I was not aware that kobolds could also be fairies. Maybe these are tiny little wizard fairies. Maybe they're winged kobolds. I don't know. Can kobolds get wings? I wish Skylar was here. I do not give a shit about kobolds as a D&D race. I've never I played a block. kobold. Ah, Professor Weathervane. There you are at last. I have some tasks for you. This guy looks like if Squidward was a human. Like, this is the human form of Squidward. Mr. Wilbur. <laughs> Wait, why am I making him sound like Snape? <laughs> That's not what... SpongeBob. <laughs> you know, now I would like to hear the actor who plays Squidward to do the Squidward voice, but, like, also kind of an Alan Rickman in there. Mr. Squarepants. <laughs> uh, all right. I look forward to us working together. I'll be frank, Professor Weathervane. You have a mage Hi, diploma, but have not completed the test required in order to work as a teacher. Attested credentials, a written application, nothing. You are only here on mm -hmm. the Archmage's recommendation. That's right. But there's currently a shortage of mages, and everyone must do their best. Do their best is well and good. But it does not replace the formal and mandatory training for teachers of higher magic. Yes, it does, if there aren't any. What? 
He's essentially saying, oh, yeah, I know there's a maid shortage, but, like, you're still not good enough to teach. And he's like, well, there's a maid shortage, so I have to be, like, I am the level of good enough to teach. And this guy's essentially like, no, that doesn't matter. The fuck, my guy? We we are needed. Quit being a dildo. Eh. But the Archmage Alistair trusts me to teach here at the school. Well, yes. Mages have a well-known penchant for chaos. I'm still trying to get an overview. The records management in this school defies description. Council leader Van Buren well, wasn't the school gone till recently? Institution ...and finally bring structure into the place, and she has my full support. Correct management of the teaching records must once again become the teaching staff's primary task. That is the only possible way to institute efficient control. He rolled of his R's. I'm pissed. Fuck you and your ability to fucking roll your fucking R's, you fucking douchebag. It's Skylar all over again. I may have no formal training as a teacher, but I managed to thrill my students in the very first hour. I performed a spell, and you could really see the way they caught fire. Not literally, of course. It wasn't a fire spell or anything of that sort. You performed a spell? Yes. Yeah. And now they want to learn to do the same. They want to learn. According to my records, history of magic was on the syllabus. Yes, but... I was told by, like, Professor Marcus. Weathervain. Crucial to our success in teaching is that we provide students with a stable, reliable framework and adhere to the curriculum exactly. Yes, but the students... Had you enjoyed proper training, you would have known that. I will note this Oof. failure in your file, and in the future... This guy might be a dickhead. The curriculum, dear colleague. Don't, don't call me that. Don't call me that as if we're friends, you big old dildo. I'ma fight you. You 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 mentioned tasks earlier, Headmaster? Yes, you have two tasks. As you know, the Archmage is coming early tomorrow to officially inaugurate the school. Important political and business personages will be attending, and as you can assumedly see, the school is not in a presentable condition. Council leader Van Buren has hired a Rude. caretaker, but he can't do it alone. Your tasks are to help him clean the floor in the entrance hall and remove the cobwebs by tomorrow. Okay. Well, we, we did say we were okay with cleaning, so, like, maybe we'll be down with that. You want me to sweep the hall and get rid of the cobwebs? Is that really or not. my job as a teacher? <laughs> yes, indeed. Or not. <laughs> a school is a team endeavor, so that means you have to do what I tell you. If, if you that's that's not really what a team endeavor cobbles, is, my guy. That I would have understood. What did you say? Flying cobbles? Uh... If there are flying cobbles infesting the place, they must be got rid of, too. See to it, Weathervane. Floor, cobwebs, flying cobbles, fix them. Well, damn. <laughs> and apart from cleaning, what else is there to do? We just the outed ourselves. The has revealed that a number of items of school property have gone missing. Among other things, the school library. The whole library has gone missing. That how do you, is correct. How do you lose a I library, dickhead? Matter, and he confirmed to me that the room was there before. He does not know where it is now. He said something about its being in hiding, perhaps, or away traveling. I think it's unseemly. Wait, so I the library is all, alive? We are a school, and we need a library. Agreed. But where should I start looking? That I cannot tell you. You are the mage. Wait, so is my boss... It, it, I think his name is Block. Is he not a mage? If he's not a mage, why is he, like, the principal of a mage school? And, again, am I the only teacher? Like, I get that there's a mage shortage, but to be the only teacher... You support the council leader in the election, right? 
Indeed, I like there are obviously mages in politics bureaucracy and boost the economy as quickly in this as world. Possible. To me, the council leader appears to be a more logical choice than a mage. But do not worry, Weather Vane, I don't blame you for your political naivete. As a school headmaster, I am neutral and always act according to school rules. And of course, political influence in schools is prohibited. Tell that to Council Leader Van Buren. Yeah, yeah, she just came in and tried to make me follow her. What's that? Oh, it's one of the campaign brochures the Council Leader put in my classroom. Hmm. I'll, um, I'll take care of it. You ask a lot. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if I can get all this done by tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning? You have until 72 o'clock. 72 o'clock? I have developed my own efficient metric system of measuring time. A day has a hundred hours. It doesn't. Of a hundred minutes. With it doesn't. No. That's, that's Everything incorrect. So, um, I don't even have until tomorrow morning. For a properly qualified teacher, even the impossible poses no problem. Wait, so I have to clean the... In your file that you do not feel up to the tasks assigned you? No, I'll... Oh, I'll do it. Very good. And then you can call it a day and prepare tomorrow's lessons. One thing's clear. Headmaster Block wants me to fail. But I won't disappoint the Archmage. And secondly, yep. I like this school. And a school library would be great for the students. And third... The work the headmaster has given me is the perfect opportunity to keep my eyes open for Remy. Yeah, it, it does seem like the dude's trying to, like, screw us over. But, oh, check it out. There's a mouse hole down here. Or, or I guess a rat hole. It could be. We're friends with rats, so that makes sense. Maybe we'll get Remy to go in through there later? There's not a lot we can look at in this room, which is surprising, because this is, like, you know, it's fully rendered. There's a lot of places where secrets could be hiding. Hello! Uh... That appears to be an ogre wearing cat ears. Why? Oh my god, is this our sexy maid? <laughs> Hello! Oh, you're a Whoa, troll. The new caretaker troll. Please let me learn hello. everything about you. Um, hello. I'm I'm Wilbur Weathervane. P Professor Wilbur Weathervane. Look at his cat ears. I I I, I teach, so I, I'm <laughs> pleased to make your acquaintance. This guy is my spirit animal. <laughs> Hello! I'm someone with high energy- it, Did he just eat the mop? I was doing a joke, but, like... Did he just eat the mop? <laughs> I, I, it, it. If you were to talk to me, we could work together to accomplish much more for the school. Come on! I demand that you talk to me. Don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, it did work. That's cool. Doing? What does it look like? Looks like you're cleaning the halls. It looks like you're doing... You're not doing a lot. Whoa, it looks like you're not doing much. You want to tell me how to do my job? Well, what you're not your doing your job. Go on, it's your job. Yeah, that's you, all right? You asshole. Wilbur's gonna go crazy and just go on a revenge kick later. If I have anything to say about it, which I don't, it's a video game, but I should, damn it! You been a caretaker for long? What exactly are your duties? I run the place. Oh. Nothing here works without me. Just no one notices, that's all. I see. But don't the teachers and the school administration, etc., have a small share in the success of the school, right? No, it's all him, what man. Success. You had a look around this dump. Disgusting. All dirty and run down. Huh. 
But it, it, it's your job to clean the shit, right? Yes, it, it's quite dirty here, in fact. But isn't it your job to do something about it? What do you think I'm doing? Ah, could take a while until you're done cleaning up the mess, right? Yeah, if you say so, Mr. Know-it-all. So maybe we need, like, a, a speed spell to cast on him or something? I bet Council Leader Van Buren got you the job here. Of course. She wanted the best. Oh, great. I think she'd be perfectly happy if no progress was ever made here at the school. Know what your problem is? You're a windbag. Bert thinks so, too. Who's Bert? Buddy of mine. He thinks you're a windbag, too. <laughs> but I don't even know Bert. Even we just met. So you're saying I'm lying? That's exactly what Bert, me, and the others hate about you. <laughs> there is the no others! Bert. You really live in your own little world, you windbag. I would love it if we leave and then we come back and there's just another troll. And it's like, hey, Bert, this is the guy you said you fucking hate. And he's like, oh my god, it's you, you asshole. How dare you? <laughs> oh, I've been hating you this whole time, us and the others. <laughs> Headmaster Block has ordered you and I to clean the hall and free it of cobwebs. Already on it? Um, yeah, but it doesn't seem to be progressing. Oh, you can, of course, do it better. Well, that, maybe I can. I mean, maybe, maybe you could use some help. Do you have any other cleaning supplies? A broom, dustpan? Sure, got it all. But I ain't giving you none. Get your own. What's your problem? I'm offering you help and saving you a lot of work. Oh, boo -hoo, I'm an asshole, you see. Look, you were told to clean the entrance hall. I was told to clean the entrance hall. If we work together, it will be faster for both of us. Don't you get it? Sure, Professor Brain should know. The rest of us are idiots. I never said that, but it is a fact. Professor Brain. So want to play the big man here, huh? It is quite obvious, that. No one else is allowed an opinion. We had that here before, you know, rotten fascist. I... Well... Ah. I don't want to fight with you. Your parents are siblings. Yeah, all three of them. What? 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 That was such a confusing insult. <laughs> At first, I was upset that he was, insi you know, insinuating. In <laughs> At first, I thought he was insinuating that, like. My parents were were siblings, which he did. Like, but then when he said three, <laughs> it just threw me for like a whole other loop. <laughs> Come on, seriously, I could really use your help, please. Come on, cope with your life, huh? And now you want me to fix it for you, just like always. You never helped me. We we, we don't even know each other. Oh, our fine gentleman considers himself something better now, and suddenly doesn't know us anymore. I'm slowly beginning to believe you actually find it funny to wind me up. Everyone hates me because I'm so cool. I'm sure they don't. I think he's cool. People say that I'm arrogant, but how should they know? Oh, well, give me time of day. And you know what beats everything? No? A hammer! <laughs> Idiot. You know what? I love this character. <laughs> this is a big, dumb, stupid, confusing character, but I adore everything he says. I'm keeping an eye open for a friend, so please let me know if anything unusual happens in the school. <clears throat> Well, you know, if, for example, someone's wandering around the school who has no business here, or if things disappear, or, you know, things like that. There was a penny stuck in the door. You what? There was a penny stuck in the door, wouldn't I? Ah, that's probably not important. Did you put the penny in there? Me? Uh, no. If I find a coin in there, I'm taking you down. It was nice talking to you. 
I really don't understand why so many people don't want to talk to trolls. Arseholes, a lot of them. They don't want us to speak our minds. And I think that's wrong. That's why I let you. Yeah, but then you run down everything I say. Who made you sheriff here? This school is going downhill and has been for a long time. Ever since you and a few others came here, there's been nothing but stress. Um... Are you talking about Block? Isn't this your Ooh, seven day? people watching. It Hello there. That way. But now everything has to be politically correct, or you get silenced immediately. Gek. Yeah, well, well, goodbye. Hello, Zingerbork. Welcome, you are here. Oh shit, Gek raided. Hey, Gek. <laughs> For some reason, it didn't even pop up that you raided, but you said Gek raid. <laughs> So now I am the aware of it. Welcome to the book of... The, the, the tale of book. <laughs> I'm done saying the full title. I don't need it. <laughs> uh, we're the trying to figure out how to clean this several. room, I guess. One for the large creatures because that's dwarves, what our magical one powers are useful for. And, like. and then there's one for gnomes and dwarves, and one for even smaller beings. That is supposed to symbolize that everyone is welcome in the school. But in reality, graduate majors are almost exclusively human. Oh, that's cool. I'm the first non-human to graduate in many years. Well, and not the exclusively human thing. <laughs> well, what I meant was, uh, like, look, you can actually see, like, there's a big door for ogres. There's a smaller door for humans. It appears to be marked with a moon. And then there's like a there's like a medium door. I assume for what. What's the in uh, Maybe dwarves? Yeah, yeah, I could see that being for dwarves. And then there's one for gnomes. That's so cute. I can't leave until I've completed the three. I don't want to... Okay, so I need to do stuff for the hand headmaster until I can leave. I almost called him the handmaster. <laughs> the oh, handmaster has a very me. different job. Not only are there a lot of them, they're much too high for me. How go if you adorably insane goober? Oh, you know, still adorable, still insane, still goobin. Uh, nothing's changed, really. The Handmaster. Yes, yes. <laughs> don't worry about him. Maybe don't question him. Shows who the I don't know much about these things, unfortunately. We didn't have knights in the White Ridge Mountains. Probably they sank in the snow. Uh, if anyone needs information about the lore of this game, I can tell you. Also, why do you keep eating the mop, my guy? <laughs> you, you gotta stop doing that. It's not healthy. At least I don't think it's healthy. Just imagining dirty-ass mop water full of chemicals and shit in your mouth. Gross. Don't want that. Don't want that. Alright, so our first order of business is get all of these fucking kobolds out of the way. Come here. Come here, you tiny little fairy son of a bitch. I'm gonna Oi, crush you. Come here. He kissed the picture of the princess. Probably better if I put the book in a safe place. I'm gonna fight these fairies. Or, or, or they're kobolds, I believe, actually. They look like fairies, though. He was crazy about the book of fairy tales. Well, rather, the picture of the princess is in it. That's just not right. So what you're saying is, he's a perv. Huh. Oh well, let's give satanic speeches in front of this pentagram podium. <laughs> you can just kind of see my hat poking over. <laughs> Wilbur is so adorably tiny. Although I believe in D&D, gnomes are much smaller than what Wilbur is. Like, well, maybe. W w Wilbur's kind of close to dwarf size. I believe gnomes are, like, up to a human knee, if I recall correctly. And we have four people watching. Thank you so much once again for the raid gag. For some reason, it's not telling me if anybody redeems anything. So if you redeem something, we'll just go by the honor system today. Just tell me you did it. But let it be known that if someone else tells me you didn't, ooh, there will be trouble. And by trouble, I mean I'll be upset. <laughs> oh, most of the plants have dried up. No one looked after them. Only this plant must have found a water source somewhere. Perhaps huh. one of the windows has a leak.
So you just let the plants it die? you hope to know that something beautiful and peaceful has survived in this gloomy building. Ah! Ugh. What the fuck is that... that cloud? Okay. Weird. Don't know what I can do with that yet. It appears they wanted to replicate the fish's natural habitat as exactly as possible, including miniature treasure chests. Just like the ones frequently found in the sea. But there's no water in there. The fish is very dead. Huh. Hey, some old coins. Maybe one of my predecessors had a vicious fish guard his retirement fund. Oh, well, we got some free cash. Dope. I booped the Neil. That is not a redeem, but I will allow you to boop me. <laughs> You're a friend, Gek. You're allowed. Although, if Codex gets up in here, we're gonna kick his ass. Oh, hey, there's my fat animal. <laughs> I forgot, I, uh... I made him eat food, and then he got really fat. Alright, anything I can do in this room? Master Marcus told me everything I need to know. Hold your head high, inspire your students, and don't let things get you down. I just wish I wasn't entirely on my own. Master Marcus is unaware of my chronic depression. Master Marcus told me everything I need to know. Hold your head high. Yeah, yeah, okay, but can we use this to call someone else? Master Marcus explained it to me. You know how I can tame those unruly students. Well, we already did that, Wilbur, so now you're just caught in a goddamn time loop. I'm ashamed of you, Wilbur. I'm ashamed! Nah, I shall treasure the... Tre I shall treasure this privilege like a dragon treasures its sword. Ah, That's very high praise, Gek. Thank you very much. Dragons are notoriously assholes about their horde. Yeah, see, Gek, it only just now told me you're rated. <laughs> That's how good my computer be. <laughs> just to give you an idea. Ay, ay, ay. Um, okay, so there appears to be nothing we can do in this room yet. What items do we have? Ooh, we have a ton of items. Empty dry food, uh, dried boards, tacky book of fairy tales. Can I, like, read this? I saved the book of fairy tales from that annoying cobble. Hmm. hmm. But maybe I can use the book to lure him into a trap. Oh, well, those, those flowers seem to do something. So, maybe we can, like... I don't know. Maybe we can lure him. A total of four pages with I don't know what. Maybe we can lure him towards those flowers, perhaps. All right. It looks like I've got everything up now. Ah, uh, so your nightbot is being an asshat too. I tried sniping half my chat for screaming, screaming or sending emotes. Yeah, my. My nightbot's always been a little finicky, but my computer is the problem, if I'm being real. <laughs> can I can I put the book anywhere in here? Uh, maybe I can lure him into a trap. Oh, okay. I didn't even know we could do that. Hey, look! That book! Oh, hell yeah! Princess has gone wild! Hey, what the I fuck? No. Well, sort of. Locked up in a dark place with a book of fairy tales. Hmm. Time to negotiate. Negotiate? What? Uh, uh, okay. Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> Gay? You, but you have to leave the school. It's too dangerous here for you, and you're interfering with the routine. <laughs> I'm going to slowly <laughs> open the desktop now, and you're going to come out peacefully. That's not going to work. Right it's not going to work, Wilbur. Ah! Ow! Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. I should probably make the best of this. I'll just keep him in the pencil case where it's safe. 
Did we kill him? Or did we knock him out? Oh, 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 I think he's woken up. And he's looking for trouble. Okay, well now we have a pocket full of kobold. And we're heading to the arcade. Was that the only kobold in here? I don't see any others. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good in here. Oh wait. Well, let's let's look at this table. Table. I don't know who that boy was. He was a right pain in the ass. However, he seemed to understand a great deal about magic. And if I managed to teach him some manners, he could be an excellent student. So what you're saying is... We should kill him. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying at all. But we hmm. should kill him. Generations <laughs> of students have left their mark. Especially in the form of little pictures and sayings carved into wood. Here's like this penis! It's a long one! Troublemakers, condemned to write the same sentence on the board over and over again. No problem. Cast the automation spell on the piece of chalk, and it does it all the work for you. Bartholomus. Hey, aye, that's cheating. Pretty clever, though. The spell carved into wood <laughs> down there. I'll just write it down. Oh, do we have a spell? Hell yeah, we have a spell. Chat, I am going to use an army of magical moving chalk to take over this land. Hell spells. <laughs> what? Quit eating the mop, my guy! <laughs> Is there anything I can say to you to get some help? Oh, hello. Because I need to get rid of the cobwebs, right? We need to get rid of the kobolds. Headmaster Block wants to get rid of the kobolds. Didn't tell me. But he did tell me, and I want you to help me. Want whatever you want. Well, that is a hell of a response to that. I feel beaten. <laughs> Why are you like that? Like what? A dick. So unfriendly, destructive, and, and such an ass. A dick, one would say. Trolls, troll. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate that joke. <laughs> Chat, listen. I have... I've been hiding a secret from you, Chad. I have a button in my room here that will blow up the earth. After hearing the joke, Trolls Troll, said by a troll, could I just get a vote from the chat? Who wants me to blow up the earth? <laughs> I can do it. We can get out of here right now. <laughs> just tell me. I'll do it. Trolls, Trolls Troll was my breaking point. I'm willing to blow up the planet now. I just want to get your guys' input. I know why you don't want to help. You can't. You're neither smart enough nor fast enough to catch the cobalt. Oh, I can do anything better than you can, that's for sure. But I'll, I'll do it. To prove anything to you. Well, what a dick. How dare you be self-confident. Ah, oh, never mind. I like the cobbles. To be honest, I'm actually even proud of them. Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, however, it would make me really angry if someone scared the cobbles off. Huh? We're trying to trick him. <sighs> Things can't go on like this. Is that all you want? Just to be a right pain in the ass all you like? Someone who just annoys others without ever lifting Oh, it killed one! Blah, 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 blah. What is it? Finally notice your own stupidity. You... Um... Want to apologize? Ha! <laughs> Loser. That was a waste. Yeah, but now now there's a kobold gun. We did it. We got rid of one. Uh, I don't have anything to talk to him about. So that's good. Maybe give it a few more years. Gek, I was told that a few years ago. <laughs> People keep wanting me to de delay the apocalypse. How can I ever get the wall cleaned up? And by, um, 
72 o'clock. Okay, so there are more kobolds up there. Can I go up the stairs? The school looked terrible when it reappeared. It took days before we could move freely on the ground floor. Uh -huh. I don't even want to think about upstairs. Well, it, it, there are kobolds up there, so we have to get up there somehow. Also, I don't have my wand anymore. But I do have the spells. Fairy spell. Automation spell. Oh, I can use it on him. I didn't even know that. Hmm. Can I use it to make him work faster? Probably. But I don't think I should do it. Using magic to compel living creatures to do something against... To quote the Idris, tonight we are well, canceling the apocalypse. I didn't become a mage to do things like that. Well, we could be a mage and do things like that. Come on! Let's be a dick! Everyone else who does magic is a dick. What's this? Another book page. Especially that Harry Precisely. Potter son Another of a bitch. Paper upon <laughs> which four pages have been printed. Hmm. When I look at the page numbers on the first sheet and on this sheet, it seems there are at least five sheets missing. Okay, so I'm just slowly finding papers? I wonder if there's a way to get a bonus hat, like what happened with, uh... With... with Ivo. Wow, this isn't dust and dirt. It's like the funk of 40,000 years. It's Harry Potter is fine, the author is just a thunder cunt. Into the floor. Even though no one's been here for 20 years. Or at least as far as I know. Well, of course you think Harry Potter is fine, Gek. You haven't had to sleep with him. But let me tell you, he's a, he's a dildo. <laughs> Answer my calls, Harry! <laughs> also, when you said Thundercunt, I thought you were calling J.K. Rowling a Thundercat. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. There's a filing cabinet here. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um... Well, I certainly don't know what to do there. Do I have a combination? Loose pages, nibble notepad... Okay, so nothing on the notepad. Uh, nothing here. This little guy's trying maybe <laughs> This little guy's trying to get out of the pencil case. He seems to be pretty annoyed. Maybe, maybe better if I'm not the first thing he sees when the pencil case opens. Maybe I can use him to like screw with this the This little uh, guy's oh, trying fuck. to get out of the pencil case. Yes, 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 I know. No, no! Fuck! The buttons are confusing in this game. Jesus! Oh my god. Okay. 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 Let's see. Can I use it on him? No? Okay. Let's go try to use it on the troll. Because the troll already killed one. Hey! Absolutely not! He pounded the other cobble to mush! I don't want anything bad to happen to my little wing friend. But you don't like the kobolds. I have to use some sort of item on this guy. Fairy spell. Huh. Well, that's not going to work. Can I pay him? No, apparently not. You want you want these boards? Can I use the boards to get up the stairs, maybe? No? That's where I got the boards, so it would be kind of confusing if that's what I needed to do. Can I use the boards to reach the cobwebs? No? Okay. Okay. Let us continue to investigate. No idea what does. Well, let's find out.
Did something happen? I wasn't looking. <laughs> I was watching the chat. Okay, okay, so... So let's leave that down, and maybe we go in the other room. Can I interact with the other lever? I can. No idea what does. Well, let's find out, bitch. Bye bye. Why did he say bye? What did it do? Was it something in here, or one of the cages down now? Ah, the skeleton's still just chilling up there, being a skeleton. He's like, Hello, it is me, Papyrus from Undertale! Please release me. Um, yeah, I got no fucking clue what to do. I guess we might still be in the item collecting phase as well. Oh, she left a bunch of brochures. The arts made even as brochures like these. No posters or town criers or plays. Either he lacks the gold, or he doesn't want to conduct his election campaign in this manner. Well, is he rich? We haven't established that about Alistair. We've established he's powerful. We've established he's... Uh, named Alistair. That's about it. I saw, f I saw for a second it gave me the option to click the skeleton. Is there, like, a button where it shows everything I can click? Yes, there is. Oh, there's something I can pick up over there, too. That's good to know. I suspect that some sort of strange magical creatures were kept in the cages. Students, for example. Students? Oh, that's... 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 that's scary. That's scary, my guy. Ay ay ay. Um, okay. So where's the other thing to click? Yeah, yeah, okay. Nice. Let's pick this up. It didn't let me down this time though. It worked even better than I expected. It was like it wanted to conjure. I could hardly keep it under control. Oh, did we put our wand down? That is annoying! <laughs> Imagine if later I was like, oh, I want to go cast some spells, and it was like, you don't have your fucking wand. You stupid asshole. Well, now that I know what button tells me what I can click on, let's go back to the other rooms. Because I want to see. I want to see if there's something we've missed. We gots to collect the items, Gek. We gots to. It is the only way. Alright. Oh, wrong button. Aha! There are several things to click. I just had to be closer to them. I knew it! Oh, a display case documenting the achievements of pupils of the school. Some sports trophies, pictures of slain dragons, pupils in front of smoldering pots. Mm, pride of place seems to go to a trophy one in a broom ball tournament. A broom ball? What? What? Broom ball originally went by a different name. It was played on broomsticks using six winged balls. Oh. There were legal complications. <laughs> That's why today resembles nothing more than soccer, except that each player has a broom strapped to their back. So it was Quidditch. Should I, should I misuse the broom on display to sweep out the entrance hall? I mean, a broom is a broom, right? Yeah, man. Hmm, unfortunately, I can't open the display case. It's locked, and I don't have a key. Oh, man. What a dick. What a dick. <sighs> All right. This Let's find the, the damn best key. This clock in the world. Most only have two or three hands. This one has at least ten. What, what, how, how is that useful? My guy. <laughs> I don't really know what the clock wants to tell me, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't just show the time. There's so much to discover. I wish I could stay here forever. 
Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Have we also set everything to to block? Let's check on that too. We we have a lot we can what check on in here now. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to block. Hey, Block, what up? No, not your fucking safe. I'll rob you later when you're not in here. Is he working for the school? Or himself? Or is he only interested in gaining the council leader an advantage in the election? So many questions, my guy. Excuse me, Headmaster Block. Yes? That is my name. Ag Augustus Block. <laughs> Not to be confused with Augustus Gloop. Okay, okay, so there is plenty to say here. Why do you have so many notes on your desk? Why do so many of the notes on your desk have a small hole in the middle? That's airmail. You spike the message on the beak of a homing pigeon. Not I, I don't method. think that's how the that works. This one obviously has a hole in the paper, and secondly, the pigeons are constantly flying into cliffs. Uh, I think it... I, I think there's a simpler solution. And that would be... You could simply write the letters directly onto the pigeons themselves. As long as the pigeons are white and the ink black, the text should be clearly visible. Hmm. Not a bad idea at all. But it uh -huh. would make the archiving more difficult. It, it, that's a very bad idea, actually. That's a terrible idea. I met the caretaker, troll. I know what you want to say. I'm not enthusiastic about it myself. Trolls are sullen, slow, and rude. But what can I do? They have a stranglehold on the janitorial market. We must live with it. Still, we were able to negotiate a good contract. What do you mean? Paragraph 1, Section 1. The troll is not allowed to speak with any school employee or student unless explicitly requested. Huh. Okay. Records seem to be very important to you. Order is very important. Records are... Wait, did I get something? I have a loose leaf binder for spells. Hmm, commendable. Maybe you can do something with this, then. There is no room for a spell in my files. Archive it, Mr. Weathervane. Gladly. Well, okay, we got a free spell. So, All right. I'll get back to work, then. Be my guest. What spell did we get? I was wondering what that was. Look at the spell. A spell? Someone has written a note in the margin. Headmaster Pinkerton, this spell is currently circulating throughout the school. It opens tabs, knots, loops, and the like. By now, there is hardly a student or teacher in this school who still has their pants huh. around their waists and not their ankles. We need to stop this immediately. <laughs> it seems magic isn't always limited to serious things. Wait, what's the spell, Broken though? Tabs, knots, loops, and the like. Okay. Oh! Oh, shit! That's useful. Because now we can get the broom. So I guess we don't need a key. Nice. Oh, shit. Wand. You, you were right there. I don't think that'll work. The spell opens loops, straps, hooks, and eyes. Things like that. Wait, wait. I try. As I suspected, there's another spell to open locks. Well, unfortunately, you don't seem to know Alohomora. That's the spell, right? Alohomora? I think so. Oh, what's this? A new firewood. Pile of firewood. More than enough to make a decent fire. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I can take some wood. Nice. I got wood. I I, I wasn't even thinking before I said that. <laughs> it's really cold in here. I'm Sorry. Going to a small fire, okay? <laughs> Do you intend to burn school property? No, I'm there's some firewood right here. Yes, and it belongs to the school. Oh, sure. 
Okay, fine. Then I won't burn school property. I have these boards. I hope that is not school property that you intend to burn there, Professor Weathervane. It's not. It is absolutely necessary. Uh, no? Uh, no. No? Well, is it school property or not? No! Okay, so let's try this again. I hope that is not school. Um, it is absolutely necessary. Yes, but it's absolutely necessary. So, why is that? Okay. Okay. Aren't you cold? Uh, if we want to attract new teachers, we must provide them with a pleasant working atmosphere. Currently, there's a shortage of majors, right? And the school doesn't pay well. It pays appropriately. If we want to convince majors to work here, then we've got to offer them something. An open fire, free drinks, maybe a lunch buffet. Massages? Uh, Enough with the jokes already. Jokes cut into working time. Okay. Oh, a bellows. A nice pair of bellows. They really get a fire going. When my family wanted to forge something at home, I was in charge of the bellows. You are the most important gnome in this matter, they often used to say to me. All right, let's take us a bellows. Hmm. Hmm. It says, fireplace travel above each of the dots is a name. Oh, shit. Sea stone, mage tower, entrance hall, coaching in Fox's Den, uh, and many more. Three animal symbols are located beneath each of the dots. I've heard about this. Wizards use a powder to travel through the fire in one fireplace to the fire in another. Of course, this doesn't oh, it's just flu work powder. any fireplace. It must be on the fireplace travel network. And this plan shows which fireplaces are connected to which. So this is some Harry Potter bullshit. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I wonder if Friedland still likes pet food. Oh, shut up about Friedland! Meh! Okay. Let's what look at the, the diagram. circled in black ink. Sea stone, mage school, staff room. That's this fireplace. <laughs> A few lines lead away from the... Oh, there seems to be two other fireplaces here in the building itself. Sea okay. stone, mage school, astronomer con, and... Hey! Sea stone, mage school, library. If this fireplace is connected to the library fireplace, oh, we that's... might be able to use it to get in there. Okay, that's good to know. So, so now it would be more necessary to burn the thing. The fireplace here in the staff room is connected to the fireplace in the missing library. The library is represented by the symbols owl, worm, and rat. I need fire, fireplace travel powder, and a little luck. This could be my way into the library. Okay. Anything else to read from that? Wilbur? What? Wilbur? Oh, the there we go. Place here in the staff room is connected to the fire. I need... Okay, so that that's cool. All right. So now can we burn the boards? I hope that is not... Um... It is absolutely yeah, necessary. What? What? I guess let's ask if he's cold. I thought work would go better if it was a little warmer and more comfortable here. Coziness is hardly suited to increasing the teaching staff's effectiveness. Get to work. Well, you're a hole of ass. Have you thought of that? You big ol' hole of ass. Um, is there anything I can look at over there? No, I can't even go over there. How about over here? Looks like it. Can I float the idea of the library to him? Excuse me, Headmaster Block. Because yeah, I'm going to yes. need some flu powder. About uh, those tasks. About the... Yeah. Are there cleaning supplies here somewhere? If I have to clean the hall, is there anything I can use to do it with? The caretaker troll was supplied accordingly. Ask him. He doesn't want to give me anything. 
You are a professor. He is a janitor. Assert yourself. I don't know if that's gonna work on a troll, my guy. The cobwebs in the hall are a long way up. And? You may not have noticed, but I'm a rather average-sized gnome. <laughs> that is no excuse. Get to work. How is that not an excuse? I can't reach them! Can't one or two of the cobwebs just stay here in the school? After all, they are magical creatures, and students could examine them and take them for walks. Rioting cobbles in my school? I'll have none of it. They have to go. Ah, oh, shame that. Hmm. That's something else. I saw the fireplace map the over fireplace there. map over there? Yes. It shows several fireplaces in the school. Of course. Large and important buildings can have more than just one access to the fireplace travel network. One of them seems to be in the missing library. Hmm. Good thinking, Weather Vane. Get to the bottom of it. I'm already on it. But even if the fireplace was still reachable, don't you need a special magic powder to use the network? True. All right, does he have any? You need some extremely rare and valuable fireplace travel powder. Only high-ranking civil servants receive small amounts of it. Oh, thank you! Thank you. Weather vane. So he's not all a dick! Only high-ranking civil servants get some for personal use. But I thought I was supposed to find the missing library. Oh, he is a dick. Yes, but without wasting my fireplace travel powder, thank you very much. So how am I supposed to... Oh, you're a jerk! I don't know how to get into the missing library without your fireplace travel powder. That's your problem. I assign tasks you complete... Oh yeah, he wants me to fail. I forgot about that. Um, what I wanted to... Hmm? So, I'll get back... Okay. 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 So we have some plans now, at the very least. We know some of the things we need to do. We just need to figure out how. Okay. So this is supposed to unloop stuff, the spell. Maybe. Maybe just maybe. Nope, nope. I, I was thinking maybe we could unwind the cobweb. But that does not appear to be the case. Alright, well. We've also pulled both of those leather... Le leathers? Levers! And we don't know what it does yet. Let's, ro let's walk around in here with the opening spell. Maybe this is where we need it. Hmm. Anything? Come on. Come on, you up there. Can I get a crash the cage? The flower? Ah, well, fuck. Let's let's figure out what this does. Let's figure out what these levers do. Well, I, I wasn't really paying attention. No, 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 not the tapestry. Oh, did I get something? The tapestry seems to be magic. At first the thread was very short, but now it's at least four paces long. I'll rip it off and take it with me. You can never have enough magic thread. Okay, well that's that's good to have, I guess. Oh, it closes that window back there. Okay, so what does this one do? Oh, there's a window back there. 
that opens. Okay. Did a kobold just land on it? It looked like a kobold was flying on it. I know they're up there. So these have to be key in taking out the kobolds, right? Oh, but he's still up there. Maybe I can time it right and smack him? Okay. Hmm. Huh. Okay. 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 Intriguing. Both windows are open now. You want to do anything, you damn kobolds? Oh, no, did I leave the room? This was not my intention! Okay, there's the kobold. He's hanging out. He's having a ball. Oh no, that's not the one I wanted to shut! Damn it. Uh, no, reopen. And then I, I guess I just gotta wait until the kobold shows up and try to hit it with the window, maybe? Come on, you fucking kobold. Come on. Damn it. God fucking damn it. I just want to suck him out the window. Alright, it looks like he's about to start flying. Hold on. Give it a minute. There he goes. I think I did it. I shut him out. No, no! Wrong window! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, wait. I did it. But now I should close these so it doesn't get back in. <laughs> no! Supposed to get up Wilbur! To the cobwebs. Wilbur, don't, don't look at that! Like Wilbur! Wilbur, look at this fucking thing, okay? That's it! I locked him out! Yes! And I got the achievement exterminator, so I think that means I got rid of all the kobolds. Hell to the yes, baby. Well, that's one success. Let's go tell Block. Maybe maybe he'll give me something. Maybe now that we've helped him, he'll be like, Oh, I guess you can have my powder. Sure, partake of my cocaine. I want a different uh, kind of powder, actually. <laughs> There's enough fireplace travel powder in the jar to take me to the library a hundred times. But can I get some without the headmaster noticing? Not unless we were to distract him with a fairy! Haha, <laughs> time for a little distraction. Hopefully this will get Blocky's attention. Mm? Mm. So that would be the next... Ah! Ah! Go away! Nice. Did you see that, Weathervane? The... Insolence! Unbelievable! The things one must put up with here! Appalling, Headmaster! Ah, oh, hell yes. Alrighty. Headmaster Block would rather freeze than... I think he's getting a little... Okay, well... Fireplace travel powder, this... I have the powder. So yeah, let's try to start the fire. I hope that is not school property that you intend to burn there, Professor Weathervane. Well, I'm ready. They're just a few old They're just boards. Just a few old boards from the school here. 
Yes, but you should have thrown them away. You should have thrown them away, but you didn't do so. It wasn't my job to throw them away. Better, better to burn them than to throw them away. Okay. I thought to myself, why throw away the boards and waste expensive firewood? Why unnecessarily burden school finances? Hmm. Good thinking, Professor Weathervane. Carry on. Wowzers! Even outside the classroom, this job is more complicated than I first thought. Well, do we have something to actually start the fire? I should start a fire first. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Can we just do that with the wand? Oh, fuck, Fred. Um... I don't know how to conjure fire. Might have been part of my mage training, but I never learned. Okay, so... So we don't know how to... Okay, now we're limited by this, but we've made a lot of progress. Hmm. Okay, okay. What do we do now? Eh. Well, it's time for that moment in every point-and-click adventure game, y'all. Let's try to do stuff with random items. Here, take my coin. Take, take my coin. You! Take, take my coin, wood! <laughs> Oh wait, you can actually do it here. If I put a coin into the gap in the door, on the same side as the hinges, the door won't open anymore. Done. Why are we... And the caretaker never twigged. But why did we do that? <laughs> what does that accomplish? Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. Can we talk to you again? We've made a lot of progress. Ah, why have you always got to be in my face? Because I like your nose. There's a coin stuck in the door. Oh, but I think does he a care? Coin stuck in the door. Can't open it anymore. Did you stick a coin in there? No. I hate it when the doors get blocked. Oh, oh, he's got a key! Okay. A huge key ring. Hmm, must be the keys to the school. Oh, you know what? The the loop spell. Quick now. Omnia nunc aperero. Ha ha, he didn't twig. Did he just eat the coin? This man eats strange things. Also, I really hope he doesn't notice me about to go- QUIT EATING THE BOP, MY GUY! <laughs> you got a weird thing going on with you! Got them. Okay, now we can get the broom. Progress is being made on all fronts! I'm so good at magic shit. Okay. Okay. Now we open this. One of these keys has got to fit. Ah, there we go. Now we get the broom. What are those noises, Professor Weathervane? I, I, uh, I was just removing an ugly stain from our display case. Our school's achievements should be there for all the world to see as a shining example. Well said. All right. So, so I have an idea to help me with the cleaning. I don't know if this is gonna work, but if I have seen Fantasia, I know that when you need things to be done, perhaps. Oh well, I guess she can't. I was trying to automate the broom, like you know, make it start like moving and cleaning on its own, but I guess I can't do that. Maybe I can later? Actually, real fast, let's just see if I can use the broom to clean any of this. 
Oh, was I not clicking the broom Wonder just now? Likes pet food. Shut up about your fucking pet, man. Okay, well that isn't working. Automation spell. Okay, so th no, that did not work. All right. Well, now I do have a broom, though. But what do I what do I do with it? Oh, oh, there's there's dirt on the floor over here. Maybe I can just clean the broom. <laughs> clean the broom. Maybe I can just clean the dirt. Right then. Sleeves rolled up, a song on the lips, and up we go. Whistle while we work. Da 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 oh, da. Oh, who am I trying to fool? The, the dirt is rock hard and impossible to shift, and, and the broom's too big for me, and, and the hole's huge, and, and I hate cleaning. It'd take me hours to get this done. It must be a better way. Wait, okay, so now can I, uh, can I like, make the broom alive? Was it just not going to let me before? Okay, let's give this a shot then. Yeah, yeah, I had the right idea, just a little too early. Why work when you can do magic? Oh, that is totally a Nimbus. Did you guys see that shit? That's a Nimbus. My magic broom is sweeping diligently, all by itself. I think I can leave it alone and take care of other things. With it might, magic, might be a really firebolt, actually. All right, well, the cleaning's happening. That's good. Don't know how to get rid of the spider web yet. Could I use a spell on it? What spells do I have? Fairy spell. Yeah, no, I can't think of how the fairies could help here. Hmm. With this powder, you can travel to any fireplace connected to the fireplace network. All yeah, but I still need a way to light the fucker. Huh. Hmm. I still not know what to do. Oh shit, my controller's dying. Uh, I'll plug it in in a minute. Should be good for another hour. Maybe we go tell Block that we've made more progress? Oh. At least, I'd call it clean enough. If it were any more clean, it would just point out how dirty everything else is. Okay, Broom, you can stop. Broom, that's it. Hey, stop. <laughs> stop, I said. Oh, I may have a little problem. Disenchant the Broom. Huh. Okay, well... Can we cast the spell twice? Come on. Come on. Where's the spell? There's the spell. No? Guess not. I don't know how to end spells. Shut up about Friedlin! I vote wouldn't shut up about Nate. Now you won't shut up about Friedlin. By the power of magic manifested. By the power Magic manifested in me, I command you, stop! Please? Hmm, nothing. Okay, okay. Birds are flying, toads are leaping. Now is when the broom stops sweeping. Shazam! I should have known. After all, I, I'm not a witch. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. Maximus dom Dominum... D D Maximus Dominum Brumus Prubere! Brumanus Aeon Domus Comicus Victorus! Hmm, nothing. Um, maybe I'd have more success if I didn't make stuff up. <laughs> hmm, hmm. Okay. I'll be back. 
Oh, this this is empty too. There's nothing in this. Why do we have an empty dry food package? How lame. All right, well, let's go talk to Black. I can't wait for that to be useful. <laughs> Watch, we're going to have to, like, murder somebody using the plastic bag. Which will be a dark take for Wilbur. <laughs> Look at Wilbur, so innocent, so pure. Excuse me, Headmaster Block. Yes? I did all the shit, my guy. About those tasks. Well, most of the yeah. shit. I have good news and bad news about the entrance. I have some good news from the entrance hall. The fight against the dirt has been won. Very well. However, what is your position on enchanted items? As long as they function properly and can be controlled, no problem. Then, there's one more little thing I still have to do. All cobbles have been driven off, as far as I can tell. Good job, then. How did the vermin actually get in here? For, um... Maybe they're in town on business and got lost? Hmm. Some joker must have summoned them. Or the Archmage. Probably wants me to look bad in my new job. Luckily, I was able to contain the cobbled plague. Well, actually, it was me. Certainly. But who ordered you to do it? Um, what I wanted to... Hmm? Okay, so he gave us nothing. So, I'll get back to work then. You do that. After all, you have already accomplished something. Maybe he's just a tight ass and he'll actually be our friend if we, like, do a good job. I at least hope so. He's like, look at that broom. That broom is an asshole. Um, huh. What, do, what else is there to do, I wonder? What all can I click in here? Okay, there's an apparatus. This device looks more like ordinary engineering than it does magic. Most magical devices have lots of golden parts, elaborate decorations, and bells and whistles, just the way the mages like them. This one could easily come from a gnome workshop. Okay. What what else does one look at in here, though? Let's no no no! Like shut it. up! I don't care if Fridolin likes the food. Look at the apple, look at the package. There's a package! What's this? A gif? So much I still didn't click. For Wilbur, A. Wow! That's... What is it? I'm a magic slate. Oh! Shit! <laughs> Are, are you a gift? You look like you're pretty expensive. Thank you. And you're a gift. You're mine now. The gift wrap and greeting card seem to indicate that this is the case. But who is So I just own an iPad now. Parameters. Maybe Alistair, the Archmage. Mordred, Vivian, Leslie, Alistair, Archmage of Seastone. He probably thought I might need some help. I'm nice of him, Vivian. <laughs> but what exactly are you? A talking slate? Do you think I the A does? Write, draw, calculate, Usually when someone assumes that shit, vibrate. it's not the correct person. Vibrate? Any question. Vibrate? Wow! I'm sorry, you can vibrate? Just, uh... Just take a note of that. Can you be used to play games which appear to be free at first glance, but in the long term empty your pocket and leave you destitute? Freemium games. I am a tool and was not designed for unproductive activities such as games. Too bad. 
I bet you're really useful. Insufficient parameters. So let me get this straight. I can write on you and paint. And <laughs> do you know any spells? No. Uh, can you give me any tips on how I can do my tasks? Unless it's about recipes, probably not. Ah, I like you anyway. Okay, um, yeah, over and out. Okay, so, so just so I'm understanding the skinny here. We have an iPad that doesn't do shit? <laughs> like at all? <laughs> is it in? Yeah, okay, so the slate is in my inventory. That's good at least. I don't... I is there... No questions. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe, uh... The moment, I have no questions. Maybe I could use it on something in this room, but I guess Wilbur has no questions. Let's get the apple. Teachers are traditionally paid in apples. I got this one myself, because I didn't want to spend my first day without an apple. <laughs> I wanted to ask cool. the Archmage cool, whether Wilbur. teachers can expect any other form of payment than apples. But when he showed me the beautiful contract with the seal and all that, it just didn't seem to be the right time to talk about gold. Okay. Okay, okay, I see. What all do we have? Okay. A few old coins. So we, we have a lot of shit. Uh, there's got to be something we can do with these flowers, right? Gotta be something. Maybe it was always a carnivorous plant. But then again, perhaps it adapted to its new environment to survive. Don't worry, little plant. From now on, I'll take care of you. You won't have to go hungry anymore. Ugh, that's disgusting. Oh, that smells like rotten eggs. Or like Grandad whenever he's eating bean soup. So it sounds, it, 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 it farts. It's a farting flower. Wait, what? There's a... I'm gonna hold my nose. That gas smells like, like... You know, gas. I get it. Okay, so now Wilbur's ready for it. So we, we need to use the gas somehow. Oh! Oh, we have a bellows. Can we suck it in? Got it. Okay. Why do we need that? Why do we need gas? Oh, are we gonna knock out the troll? <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, fucker. You've been fucking with me this whole time. Now it's time to die! He could even be one of the few beings in the world not bothered by the smell. He might even like it. So I think I'll just drop the idea. Why are there so many items I can, like, test on him but not actually use? <laughs> okay, what else could we need the gas for? To, to start a fire? I don't know. Let's let's see if there's anything else in this room, actually. I kind of forgot that was the goal of coming in here. Okay. Look at the chemistry Mixing area. Mixing the potions is an important part of magic. It's a bit like cooking, except a stew doesn't kill you if you add the wrong ingredient. Or... I mean, depends on the stew. Super depends on the stew. You never know, man. Stews are dangerous. No? With a little luck, I can get through the day without causing an explosion. Okay, look the at the time oven. The fire burned in this was before the school disappeared 20 years ago. And even if I could, I shouldn't start a fire in it anyway. The flue was broken, and the smoke would fill the entire classroom. Is that what I want, though? Like, is this the stove I'm gonna use the, the gas on, maybe? I'm just not quite sure what my goal here is, but I'm gonna figure that out. 
I'm gonna figure it out, chat. Don't you worry. Uh, let's check the bedroom. Because now that I know about this button, this could also be helpful. Oh no! The only things are, uh... Mages use balls like this to communicate over long this? distances. This? You know. That appears to be it. Nope, 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 I thought this was a stove too, so I'm surprised I can't use this. Huh. Nothing else in here. Okay. Well, that just means we need to we need to explore this room even further. Look at the brochures. I already did that. Look at the diagram. Okay. Introduction to magic, sheep breeding and care, statistics. Hmm, that seems to be some kind of timetable. Can I look at it again? Oh, no, 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 Wilbur, no! Where are you going? Wilbur, no! Oh, please tell me I didn't click to go in the other room. Wilbur! Ooh, crazy drawings and symbols. That must be really high magic. Only the wisest mages can understand all that. Look at the book. This book looks very old and important. All old things are. Half the class had runny noses. Most were recaptured. This is the roll book where the teacher writes down any unusual events. Oh? Okay, so let's learn. Let's learn about the unusualness. Plus five points for defeating a troll. Minus fifty for leaving your dorm at night. Oh, maybe young Harry is right. That seems a little unbalanced. Whoa! School must have been more competitive back then. The book is too thick to read without I, looking I for understand in that particular. reference. Okay. The book is too thick to read without looking for anything in particular. Well, well, maybe we can get the the magic the slate to help. No okay. I'm surprised we can't pick up that that stepping stool. What does it say? The apparatus that corrupted student Allardyce. Allardyce. To those who do not want to accept the limits of magic. Hmm. Okay. It seems a student by the name of Allardyce made this. That starts with an egg. Caught in grief. I don't know why. Compared to the things lying around back home in Gnome Hole, this apparatus doesn't look particularly dangerous. Okay. What does it say? The apparatus that corrupted student a ward. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Al Allardyce also starts with an A, so I'm wondering if they are somehow co connected to giving us the magical slate. Uh, I guess we can look at the brochures again. The council leader left the brochures lying here. It was agreed the children can't vote. First, they wanted to base eligibility to vote on size, which of course led a resistance among us gnomes and the dwarves. And then they said weight should be decisive. The more you weigh, the more weighty your vote. But then the <laughs> trolls and ogres would have been overrepresented. In the end, they agreed on a minimum age. However, there are still arguments because rats, undead children, and other minorities can never vote. Dead children cannot vote? <laughs> we should fix this. Dead children have rights, damn it! Hmm. I have no goddamn clue what else to do. <laughs> Is there anything else to click? Oh, the fish skeleton. When the school disappeared 20 years ago, obviously no one looked after the animals. Expected consequences, really. Okay. Can I take the fishbone, though? I can! Hmm. 
Ah, I don't need the whole skeleton, but a sharp pointed bone like this might just prove useful. Okay. I'm I'm also realizing I didn't click everything multiple times, so like let's let's try clicking the stove again. Or oven. Because then maybe it will be like, oh, we can make something here. Burned waste. Here's a sheet of paper. Another book page. I'll take it with me. Oh shit, we got almost we almost got all five. It looks like someone wanted to start a fire and burn the book pages. Lucky for me they failed. Hmm. Wait, wait, I just thought of something. We, we heard about the adder lace person, right? Well, now that gives us something for the roll book. Maybe I can find something in the roll yeah. book about this Allardyce mentioned in the note on the apparatus. It's what I thought, Wilbur! <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here, despite repeated warnings, young Allardyce continued his experiments on his fire maker. Nice. To my great regret, okay. I must say that the device works. He demonstrated it to the staff. We have to have him committed to the asylum in Arkham Stone because uh, of his delusions and insubordination. Arkham Stone, really? <laughs> a wizard who invents a fire maker and then committed to an insane asylum by other wizards. I guess they didn't understand his new kind of magic back in their time, or they figured their monopoly was in danger. For a long time, wizards were the only ones allowed to make fire. Well, that that's good. That means we now have... Hmm. That means we now have the fucking know how that this guy Maybe I'll did find it another entry on Allardyce. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Yes, here, a bit earlier. Oh, today I made a disturbing discovery. Young Allardyce, very gifted but also nonconformist, was making drawings of an apparatus. This apparatus could start a fire without magic. Of course, I took the paper away from him and showed it to the headmaster. He ordered two weeks of detention in the dungeon and added the drawing to the offender's file. Okay, so do we need the drawing? Where's the offender's file? A talented mage invents a fire maker and is locked up for it. Huh, the machine remains on display as a warning. Pretty steep, but it fits with the stories about mages in earlier times. They were the only ones allowed to start fires. It was against the law for normal people. If the fire in a house went out, they had to call a mage. And of course, he charged for his work. They used to say, the faster the coin falls through the slot, the faster the wand makes the stove grow hot. Nowadays, everyone makes their own fire. Okay, okay. Well, let's, let's go into the other room back where Block is. And maybe we can be like, oh, hey, this Allardyce guy. Uh, we, we need him. <laughs> we need help from him. Give me the, the thing he drew. <laughs> ya bitch. Give me the thing you drew. Oh, god damn it, I went back to the safe. Ah. <sighs> You know what? Let's try. Let's let's try to spell at. What can I spell? A. Uh. Oh shit! Wait, what? What is happening with this? What? Why? I'm confused, but I see Allardyce's name. Allardyce, Albert. He seems to be an excellent student. I just wanted to spell ass. Objections and questions. What's this? What is this? 
I, I want to look at all these things, but... Oh, you think that's how we get the hat? We have to look through literally everything? Oh, it's a filing cabinet! Alright, I'm determined. Axel A. Aronson. Axel cannot pay his school fees as he gives all his money to dodgy game developers. Oh, these are patrons! Beaverus Deepwood. Beaverus tried to turn wood into gold. In the end, he got mahogany, which in turn he sold for a lot of gold. I see, I see. Brian Blackstone. Brian became the youngest student ever to successfully cast the teleportation spell. He teleported himself 20 feet into the air and successfully fell <laughs> to his death. We're gonna read these all. <laughs> Brian Blackstone. Brian became the youngest I want the damn hat. I think this is connected to the hat. <laughs> he teleported himself 20 feet into the air and successfully fell Oh, shit. I already read that one. Wait, so did I read this one? Beaverus, Beaverus tried to turn wood in... Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Burnison. Troll. Burnison of High Wind Lake managed to collapse the south wing of the school by sneezing. Nice. Good job. He did well. Daniel A. Curlshawk. Daniel conjured himself a magical forest and has not been seen since. He just conjured a forest? But, but wait, if he conjured it, wouldn't he be in the for? Where is the forest? What happened to that? Disaster. D died in a devastating explosion near a fireplace. His last essay on the development of my fart spell. Oh was my god. Surviving family. <laughs> Mother, father, I died doing what I loved. Elmar Frog. Elmar's father, the royal executioner, asked for permission to see his son's school records. Elmar is doing fine. Truly. Really fine lad. Hmm. Looks as if a few pages were ripped out here. Suspect indeed. I'm gonna read all of them. I think this is how I get the fucking hat. Fluffy fuffa fuffa fuff. -fuff, -fuff, -fuff. Fluffy fuffa fuff, -fuff. Fluffy transformed pure gold into a tasty piece of bread, so refuting the old saying that you cannot eat gold. Also, you can eat gold. It's literally used in some donuts. Uh, uh, yeah. Hiker Granger. Despite repeated warnings, which hiker is still using the school's palentia to make long distance calls? I'm gonna get the fucking hat, guys. I'm gonna get it. Friederica Sillybottom. Sillybottom? Friederica Sillybottom has applied to the city council for a change of name. She shall henceforth be known as Frederica Sillybottom. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Oh, uh, in, in I can't even read the first name, but the last name is Thunderflash. Ingemar Thunderflash. Ingemar. Despite repeated demands, Ingemar refuses to tell us his last name. No one is called Thunderflash. Joda Green Gnome. Magic strong in this. Yoda place. Green Gnome. Okay, that's funny. I like that. Let's go to the K's, baby. Leonard the Akagamic. Leonard the Akagamic, genius of the buttons, mage of the keys, has broken more brains than hearts. Most recently, his own brain, which earned him a private suite in the Arkhamstein Asylum. So it is just called Arkhamstein. What the fu- This guy's last name is censored. Wait a minute. Those numbers- is his name Marco Titties? <laughs> kind of want to get okay. Go in order. Go in order, Neil. Don't don't screw yourself up. Levin from the hills, gifted fire and water mage. Unfortunately, his talents cancel each other out, so he's regarded as one of the most incompetent mages in his class. We're almost there, Chat. We're almost fucking there. Marcel makes a lot. Marcel makes a lot. Marcel summons large hairy mammals and refuses to stop doing so. What? What? Why? I also see Mario Mushroom down there. Marco Tit. <laughs> Marco intentionally uses words like 
and <laughs> because he believes it would be too embarrassing to write you down here. <laughs> yeah, his name is straight up Marco Titties. Marco Titties. <laughs> oh, lovely. Mario Mushroom. Mario jumps on other people's heads, lights them on fire, and then calls the whole thing non-violent. Okay. Mark of the Southlands. Mark of the Southlands. Lord Mark of the Southlands yesterday set fire to several teachers and flooded the gym. Again. Hell yeah, he did. Good job, Mark. Rebel! Movi Van Grove. Movi Van Grove transformed the school sheep into an ape. Although, the librarian expressly forbids apes in the school. What an asshole. How dare. Um... Omadonna Dillo. <laughs> Penguin suit with a sign that said, Moo. Okay, now that's just weird. That's a very weird thing. That... <laughs> I would expect nothing else from Amadamadilla. <laughs> okay, P for a T. We're almost done. Percy Smith. For some reason, that's the weirdest one to me. Percy Smith. All right, let's go with Pabba the Great. Pabba the Great. Pabba the Great, the only student of this academy whose width exceeds his height, today received his degree. He will be missed. Okay, Percy, Percy Smith. Smith. Percy detonated a stink bomb during running training. The students never ran faster. Student Smith received an award. Reward him for being a prankster. Peter Troll. Peter Troll. The Hunters Guild has asked us to find a new caretaker. It seems the grumpy troll snoring and farting is scaring off the wildlife for miles around. So many fart jokes in this. So many. I have learned to like fart humor because of um, the show The Good Place. They have a couple really funny fart jokes. But like, Lord in heaven. <laughs> I still don't like them when they're overused like this. René Beetle. Rene Bitter. Seems to have been in a sky full of diamonds with a certain Lucy. Visits from females are strictly prohibited in this school. So are mushrooms. Visits from mushrooms? You have a lot of visiting mushrooms? <laughs> Russell the Undead. Russell the Undead. Russell the Undead Mage is constantly losing skin. There have been numerous complaints from the cleaning staff. Okay. So, oh, I can't read that shit. Sasha Shalislash. This entry was only added to make life difficult for anyone who has to read it out loud. Sorry. Very happy I didn't even try. I very happy I didn't attempt it. I would have fallen for Serena Derp Mancer. <laughs> Serena discovered a completely new kind of magic. A second, completely unrelated incident then destroyed the entire laboratory. What? Aw, oh, that's such a disappointing story for someone named Serena Derpmancer. Speedster. I expect better. Did you mean speedster or speed star? Hmm. Okay, we're almost done. After this, there's only one more category. Theragor lost today's archery contest after he fired his arrow in the wrong direction. We sent his family flowers. Toby Corner. Toby Corner. Toby Corner. Wise remarks, deficient. Wise cracks, good. I did it! Ah, oh, all I got was an achievement. Wait, there's a... There's a whole pair... What? Why did I get the achievement? I haven't done U for Z yet. Oh, there are no U for Zs. Okay. 
Well, I, I got the thing. Oh, man, I didn't get a hat. Ass. I wanted a hat. Yellow design drawing. I think we should have a look at this. A fire maker is an amazing piece of engineering. You fill it with flammable gas, which is then ignited using complicated technology. Okay, do we have that technology? What's the dealio there? A fire maker is an amazing piece of engineering. Okay. So, maybe, 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 baby, we have to take this to that alchemy table? And then we can, like, start setting it up? We have the gas. So part of the battle has already begun. Uh, can I click you? Hold on, where's the button? There be the button. Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, this is the fire maker. Okay. Well, in that case... I well, have I... a full load of stinky gas in this bag. Alright. Right then. If this gas isn't flammable, then I just don't know. Done! The machine is refueled. Well, nice. Let's make a fire. Here we go. And there was light. I am master of fire. No need for a classy non sequitur. No audience, you see. <laughs> that said, who am I talking to now, then? <laughs> Clever. Alright, do we have something I can light on fire? Ooh, the loose pages, maybe. But I don't know. I don't know if I should burn this. Maybe? Heavy key ring. Yellow design drawing. Um, The thread, maybe? No, I, I guess let's I try the pages. The thread through the pages with just my... Oh, I guess the thread and the pages are a, are a thing. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay. Well, what what do I do now? I have the fire. What do I light? Uh, empty. Oh. I don't think that will burn well. At least not as well as paper. Well, what the fuck? I, I, I just tried that. Yes, I could get the fire to the staff room fireplace using the paper, but I should have a prepared fireplace waiting for me when I get there. We do! What do we need? Uh, what else do we need on the fireplace? It is prepared. The fuck? Okay, let's go back to the fireplace then. What do you need? That's a good start. However, I can't light the wood directly. I mean, it's dry, but not dry enough to burn easily. Oh, it needs kindling? Um... The empty food thing, maybe? I don't need the empty carton anymore. Okay, so we are just gonna burn that. Okay, are, are you prepared now? Now the only thing missing is fire. Okay. Do you by any chance have a match, Headmaster Block? You are a trained mage, Professor. The fire spell is part of your basic training. Um, yes, of course. Or were there some gaps in your education about which I should be informed? No, everything's fine. I'll just go get my wand. Crap! I have no idea how to conjure up fire. Okay. Well, this is good. Progress is being made. You know, I was complaining about being stuck in that garden, but now we're stuck in the school. 
At least there is an outside, theoretically, that leads to a town or something. That'd be fun to explore. Um, okay, well, I have the fire. So now do I just, like, the notepad? I'll tear a sheet from the notepad into strips. They should do to get the fire to the fireplace. Let's give it a try. Okay. Now, hurry! Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't want to go slow, Wilbur. <laughs> Is the flame decreasing? Come on, time to go, Wilbur. Oh, did it go out? What the shit? Oh, come on. A thin but fairly tear-resistant thread. About... Let's try again. Let's try again. All right. Strips of paper. There we go. Now, hurry. I'm going as fast as I can, Wilbur. Ow! Ah, it's still a long way to the fireplace. Well, shit. So we have everything, we just don't know how to get to the fireplace? Do I have a spell that slows burning? Open spell... Fire spell... Fairy spell? Maybe? Fairy spell? Uh, this is not useful to me. I yeah yeah I must think. I must think. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Should I light? Wait, can I light more than one? But fairly tear resistant. I tore a page from my loose leaf binder into strips. Paper's quite old and very dry. Okay, let's take the paper. Let's try this again. We're so close. Now, hurry! Okay. I've already got a burning strip of paper. Okay, so I can't make more. Huh. Ow! Ah, it's still a long way to the fireplace. Wait, I have an idea, and if this is what I you have to do, this is stupid. Hold on. Light. Now, hurry! And then I wonder, because I noticed that that's in the inventory right now. So what if I step here, and then... What if I try to light another one? Good. Okay, so I guess I just keep doing this every couple of steps, maybe? Okay. And onwards. This is really dumb and I hate it. <laughs> I fought it because I noticed that, that, like, it added in a flame thing to the inventory. So I thought, oh, do I have to use that somehow? This is dumb, though. I want that to be clear. Good. Every point-and-click adventure game has those moments where it's like, this is rather stupid. All right, this should be enough to get me to the fireplace properly. And onwards. Whoa, whoa, what? Perhaps not loops and the like. What? I tore a page from my loose leaf binder. Wilbur! <laughs> Why did you blow out the... <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> what? Did I... 
Did I press the wrong button and I blew it out somehow? What the fuck, Wilbur? <laughs> that was... I have no words. That better not fucking happen again. Why'd he blow it out? Now, hurry. He didn't even give a reason. Okay, right now I like this one. Oh, shit. There we go. Burn. Beautiful. Okay. So now a few steps this way, and then... Let's light us up another one. And onwards. Hell yeah. All right, let's take a few steps and... Oh, well, for some reason, Wilbur wanted to turn around, so I'm not risking it now. <laughs> Good. Cool beans. Come on, Wilbur. Okay, come on, you son of a bitch. Here's the part that fucked me over last time. And onwards. Well, there you go. That should be good enough. But just to be safe, because I don't want to go back to that fucking flame. There we go. Now it's definitely good enough. Whoa, everything went echoey for a minute. The hell? Paper, wood. Now the only thing missing is fire. Well, I have fire, so let's use fire. Fire! Done. Burn, motherfucker! Burn! Come on, burn! Did you say something, Professor Weathervane? I um, I'm just about to summon fire with my magic skills. Oh, fire! Um, come here. Careful, Professor. Don't burn the whole tower down around you. Yeah, why does it keep going echoey sometimes? That's weird. The result was great, but how did I summon fire when all like... Oh, he did actually cast a fire summon spell. That's cool. Wilbur, you got fire in you, my man. Time to flu powder this bitch. Well, this should be interesting. Come on, green flame. The flames have turned green and the fire is suddenly cool. Hell it's yeah. Hot. That's it's how not it works. It's fire anymore. It's cool and can take me anywhere on the fireplace travel network. I guess I just have to think of the symbols that are painted on the plan next to the library fireplace. Owl, worm, and rat. Owl, worm, and rat. Go, Wilbur. Oh, I hear whispering. Wherever the missing library is, I'm inside it now. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Huh? Uh, hello? What is it? What does it want here? Oh, are the books My talking? Is Weathervane. Who is speaking? It's scary. It should not be here. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I got tackled by books! He's trying to break loose! Help! He has awakened! What does it want? Uh, what happened? I found the library and I heard noises. I guess that was probably you. Uh, the book is more powerful than the, uh... Than the uh, thingy. The thingy. <laughs> What's it called again? The sword? Oh, no. um, for writing. Right. The book is mightier than the thingy. Um, okay. Sure. I believe you. Thingies be powerful. 
Uh, who are you, bitches? Who are you? Uh, we are books, so, um... Yes, books. That is a word. And you're alive? Uh, that uh, is none of your business. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to assume. <laughs> Would you mind letting me get up? It's pretty uncomfortable, yeah? Haha, <laughs> never. But at some point you'll have to let me get up. Is that possible? Um, what? That we, uh, sooner or later have to let him get up. Um, no idea. The, uh, the answer to your question is, um... Is, uh... These books don't seem very smart. Okay. Okay, I'll just lie here for now. Huh, exactly. Like, um... You're a dumb book. So, the missing library's your home? It, uh... Is I don't like the whispers. It was here the whole time. I don't like that. <laughs> well, for the rest of us out there, it wasn't there. Out there? You know, in the school. Yeah, there's so much room Shoot. where babies birth you and flowers them? bloom. I am... Um, you wear them on your feet. So you mean your feet thought the thing here had disappeared? Sure, yes. Let's go with that. I'm not being funny, but you seem to be pretty confused to me. Confused? Ha! We are, uh... We are books. We, we know everything. All right, then. So come on, tell me. What type of books are you? For me? Uh, well, I'm a big, um... Uh, if he, uh, lost so a fee book. <laughs> and my comrade here is, uh... Thingy. I am a, um, you write words in it and explain them. Books. You're a book. Yeah, yeah. A, a written word explanation book. There's something pretty weird here. How about we try and figure out what's going on here? What do you reckon? You can't trust it. We don't know what it is. It is not a book. I say we throw it out the window so that its leaves are scattered to the four winds. I, uh, think you're right. It has its own thoughts, and that is not a good thing, I think. <laughs> well, I think you're getting a little bit carried away with yourselves. Careful! It's tearing itself loose! Woo! <laughs> Slow-mo! It's coming right for us! <laughs> a monster! Look you, I won't hurt you, but... Something really weird is going on here, and I am not going to let you throw me out the window. Uh, uh, make it go away. We don't like it. We know it not. It scares us. Nasty hobbit. <laughs> I'm not a hobbit. I'm a gnome. <laughs> I think the library goes even further up. Halflings are a little bigger than gnomes. Because it's so dark. And I don't see a ladder or a stairway that would lead up there. Although, ironically... If it wasn't some sort of monkey, I, I mean an ape, I don't know how he'd get up there. I think Wilbur might actually be the size of a hobbit. At least by, like, you know, classic Dungeons and Dragons rules. The whispers upset me. I don't I like hearing whispers like that. To be spread across the desk. I need wood for a fireplace. And instead of burning books or a shelf, I'd rather have something that no one seems to use. What did I take? A, a box of matches? Oh, a wooden drawer. Just to burn? I just have a burnable drawer? I'm not sure this desk was meant for students. It might have belonged to a librarian. Looking at the tools, a large part of the work must have been the care and repair of books. Okay. Let's look at the desk again. Oh, hell yeah! Jelly glowfish? Mm. Jelly glowfish usually only survive a few years if nobody looks after them. Perhaps the books fed them so they wouldn't have to live here in total darkness. 
How do books do feed do? something? To be locked in a library and not have enough light to read all the wonderful books around you. Yeah, that would suck. That would be unfortunate. Another book page. I'll take it with me. Oh shit, aren't there like five or something? Didn't they mention before there were like five? It's either three or five. With shit like this, it's it's either the rule of threes or five, typically. So maybe I'm just assuming it was five. Or I guess it could be ten. That also happens. This book is in worse than poor condition. The glue has given up the ghost and now several pages are missing. Here's one of the pages. I'll take it with me. Oh, well, if it was five, then... Hmm. If I could repair the book, that might convince the other books that I mean them no harm. I would have to sew the missing pages together and then glue them to the book spine. dum de doo -de Huh? Do you know anything about book repair? I know everything. You have to sew the pages together, right? A few at a time. Correct. The so-called choirs. And these choirs are then glued to the book? Correct. For which you need wheat starch paste. Uh, I don't have any of that. Alternatively, alchemically manufactured adhesives or some natural products such as troll snot can be used. Yes. Troll snot? Correct. Troll snot forms the basis of many industrial adhesives. Do we need to get the troll Thank to sneeze? Thank you for sneeze? this valuable and somewhat disgusting information. Cheers. Well, the good news is I have the thread. Uh, well, I guess I don't need Why it yet. Work when you can do magic, the automation spell. If it works, I think. No, go back to the desk, Wilbur. Okay. Let's do the thread part. We can't yet. I guess we need the snot first. Um. Oh wait, 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 wait. Sharp fish bone. Watch this. Maybe I can put it on the thread? I could pull the thread through the hook at the end of the bone and use it as a kind of a needle. Yeah. It worked. And I can even sew. Mum showed me while Dad was teaching Sydney how to weld. Well, hell yes. Let's do it. Can't do it yet. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, do I have all the pages here? I could sew the pages into a choir later, but I still haven't found all of them. Well, how many more do I need? Pages, but if I'm lucky, I'll find them all I can save a book. Okay, so I guess that's what I need to do to prove myself there. No, let, let me leave. Come on, there we go. Fuck. Is that a doily? We took the doily! Fine doily. A finely crafted white doily. Useless, but pretty. Yeah, that's how doilies be. Wonder what we're gonna use that doily for. Look at the note. Is that in the nose's. Is that in the bear's nose? I was about to say the nose is bear. <laughs> It's even yes the fire spell the most important spell of all to a mage I finally have it well that's pretty boss the fire spell the fire spell finally now I can start a fire anytime anywhere you're kind of dressed like a like a fire mage my guy I do not like listening to this bullshit. This wall, uh, this arch, it looks like a door belongs here, but there's only a wall. <clears throat> it's almost <sighs> as if this room was hiding from the world, or was it forgotten? Well, should I look at it one more time? This wall, uh, this arch, it... Okay. So that's all the information I can get. To the shelves. I don't know which ones attacked me. 
How can I talk to them? There weren't very many books in this school. No wonder. They're all here. Depending on what lies beyond the passages, this could easily be the largest magic library in the country. Well, let's talk to the books. I won't hurt you. I've been looking for you. You and the library should come back to the school. Make it go away. It scares us. But I won't hurt you. How can I prove that? Uh, go away. Go away. Okay. I wonder if the books were always alive. Or were they brought to life because of this place? Well, a good chunk of the books are... Wise creatures. Why are the ones here so simple-minded? Maybe because they've been locked in here for so long? Ooh, I can grab something! That's strange. The writing is very pale and fuzzy. It's almost as if... Ah! 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 <sighs> that book just ran away. I have to get used to these living books. Okay, can I leave and come back? The journey through the fire network is anything but comfortable. You get sucked into a vortex, and then there are openings everywhere. But somehow, I still came out <sighs> in the right place. Yawn. I'm getting sleepy for some reason. Unless I... But to... Yeah, but do I have to leave and come back later? With troll stop? Unless I find another exit... The fireplace network could be my only way out. But to use it, I'm going to need fire. Oh, well, I have the, the fire spell. Which is good. The fire spell can't burn long on its own. It's intended... Oh, it's that's why I need the drawer. But if I'm lucky... It would be better if the headmaster never finds out about this. Okay. Fire spell, baby. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Fire spell, baby. Igni Faxius Ignis Ferro. I'm slowly getting the hang of this. What that jar it will be. It summoned the Red Devourer. The Red Devourer. That was the last of the fireplace travel powder. But I think it was enough. Hopefully that sticks. Oh, it does. Good. Yo, I found the library. No, no, not the... Oh, my God. Why am I eternally cursed to click the wrong things? Excuse me, Headmaster Block. Yes? About uh, the tasks? About those tasks. Yes. I found the oh, library. It's fine, more or less. Really? Where is it? Well, it's it's not easy to get into. You just need a little bit of magic. Unfortunately, that is unacceptable. The library is a room like every other room in this building, and it has to live with the fact that staff and students may want to enter it in the conventional manner. Through the door. But, but how? I do not care how. Get the room back, Professor. And then I can finally return this loose page to where it belongs. You are rude to me, sir. Um, what I wanted to... Hmm? Wait, he has a loose page. That note you have there, it looks like a page from a book. Yes, indeed. It's an incomplete travelogue. The traveler, apparently a researcher, speaks of a country called Laputa. The arts, sciences, languages, and crafts are revolutionary. Very exciting concepts, but unfortunately, the book is incomplete. If you so he has page, the last page. I might page. be able to find the rest of the book for you. Hmm. Thank you. I'd like the whole story. I'm sure the tale will end well and will serve as a role model for us. Yeah, take it. Ta. So, okay. I'll get back to work then. You do that. So After all, you have already accomplished something.
This is intriguing. So now I think I have all the pages, right? I could sew the pages into a choir later, but I still haven't found them. Ah, well. Why work when you can do magic? We shall find the rest later, my friends. For now, we must end the stream. I hope you have all enjoyed. Please have a good day. See you in the next one.